we're gonna try to just go live right now. Let's see. Take two. Yeah. Should be live, should have audio, should be all good in the hood. <laughs> Are we live? We're live. Except for there's no one in here because they gotta figure, <laughs> they gotta figure out that it's a new thing. All right, man, uh, it's been a while yeah. since we live streamed. A little rusty. All right, here we're we go. Rusty. People are jumping back in. They're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. Appreciate you guys' patience. <laughs> All right, so let's give everyone 30 seconds to hop back in before we start firing off, huh, Coach? Yeah, we're doing our best out here. <laughs> That's all you can ask for. <laughs> Dude. Oh, it's man. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. Throw a like on this video. Show some love. <laughs> you know, we got JC in the least background you could do. over there, you know, <laughs> laughing at us while we're, you know, trying to go live. Um, for some reason, I'm trying to pick up the comments, but can't do it. We got Beesky coming over here. Beesky's over here hop, hopping walls, coming over. He's looking fired up. I don't, I don't know how to get the comments. All right. Well, we got the comments all right here, Coach Joe. Okay. All so right. if you guys are new to the stream, um, just drop any comments you guys have for us. If you want to make sure that we read them off, leave a little donation, and uh, we'll make sure we read your guys' comments. We're up here at Pebble Beach. Um, got up here a couple days ago, played uh, Spyglass yesterday, got the absolute beat down. I don't <laughs> don't mind these kids and just that walking would be through like a rookie coming right through the screen. <laughs> Still hasn't learned after all this time. You'd wonder how that's possible, but it is. <laughs> this is probably gonna be the best <laughs> live stream ever. I mean, uh, you know, shot tracers. He steps right in front of. Uh, Still, you know, but. We love them. Uh, yeah, Can't get well, rid of well, them. we're gonna get the, these two guys in here in a little bit, so uh, don't you worry. Well, someone asked, "What did we Be shoot?" Ready. We played Spyglass yesterday. I was mentioning that it took a piece of my soul. Uh, I had two Hazel rockets. It was the highest round of the year all of us <laughs> will have ever scored in 2021. Yeah, it was yeah. a very yeah, tough day. It, it, it was uh, 30 mile an hour winds. It was crazy. From we, the fair. Yeah, it was. We played the tips, which was a mistake. Our games were not in. Uh, you know, good form, and uh, we 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 suffered. There was moments of brilliance, though. I birdied number four, like a champ, a little back to back. <laughs> it's probably the first time in my career I've had two hosels and and one and nine holes. So, all right. So again, if you guys are new to the live stream, drop a comment down there. Let us know what questions you have, any thoughts you guys have on the channel, future of the channel, whatever it is. And again, make a little donation. Help us out. You know, we're paying the girls now. We got we got double the overhead. So. <laughs> you know, uh, we someone, love we love the girls, but we got bills over here. Uh, somebody said, "Who the hell is that guy?" <laughs> <laughs> They're probably serious. Oh my god! I know. It's been a minute. Yeah, you know, he's the he's the originator. <laughs> OG founder. Oh, right? Man. Hey, what's up, Charles? What's going on? Hope all is well, and uh, you are doing well. Yeah, Charles. Lots of love, man. Yeah, for sure, Charles. Hopefully, you're recovering well, man. And uh, yeah, glad everything seems to be doing be going better for you, man. Uh, <sighs> what else we got, Coach? People are asking what we shot. Don't even ask. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it was that bad. Nobody it's it's going to be the <laughs> highest <laughs> round uh, on the channel for me. Yeah, broke 80 on the front side, so happy with that. <laughs> uh, oh, man. What's up, fellas? Looks look like you have the perfect spot at Pebble. We really do. I think this is the Alvarado, or Alvarado room? Alvarado, Alvarado building? Alvarado. We have the so, best. Yeah, if you get a chance to pick what building, Alvarado, I mean, you're right on, on 18, right on top of it, watching people shank it in the water all day. It's great. Check out the stories. We, we've got some good ones. Uh you know, it's going to be right on 18, look, overlooking the water. Uh, it's it's top notch here. Pebble really is a special place. You know, for a guy's trip, this is the ultimate. Um, you can't really do much better than that. You've got some beautiful views, great golf courses, challenging, and uh, really good food here too as well. Mm. Yeah. Um, I lost all the comments. <laughs> <laughs> when are you guys playing Balboa golf? Man, this guy Gabriel's like spamming the comments here. Uh, Balboa, I don't, I don't know. We'll get to it when yeah, we can. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not high on the list. I mean, I'm being honest. Do you guys want the real truth? It's not high on the list. All right. Oh man, uh, <laughs> that is the truth right there. 
Gad handled the truth. <laughs> um, this is why I play those courses at Top Golf. Top Golf's fun. Love me some Top Golf. Uh, Tim Teal's in the house. What's up, Tim? Yeah, let's play CCRB soon. I'm down. <laughs> I, I need an easier course after uh, yesterday's round. So uh, we're also playing the Hay. Uh, it's a new Tiger Woods design golf course. Uh, really cool little par three. It's anywhere from like 40 to 105 yards. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Very challenging. Uh, family friendly as well. And then they also have an awesome putting green that is uh, top notch. It it's rivals Bandon for sure. I uh, really enjoyed your channel since finding it about four years ago. That's about when we got started. So thank you for the support over the years. Uh, Chira made a $5 donation. Appreciate that. It said, love the channel. Awesome golf vibes. Really appreciate you, man. And he gets blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, Good. what's up? What's going on? The triple champs in the house. Someone said team Brooksky or team Bryson. Brooks. Brooks. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a fan of Bryson. I mean, who, who is? I'm starting to become a fan of neither of them. I like Brooksy. He's good. Uh, All right. Are the greens uh, punched again? Oh, we're going to no. find it. I don't think so, but we're going to find out. We're playing Pebble today. No, no they chance. They look fine. No chance. Yeah. Uh, are we going to play Pasa Tiempo again? Mm -hmm. Yes. Eventually, uh, we'd like to go back down there. Doesn't seem like they'd like to have us out, though, for some <laughs> reason. Uh, so we had a couple uh, people reach out and invite us out. So we, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get out there one of these days. It's one of my favorite courses. John asked if we are for playing Spyglass. We played it yesterday. John got the beat down out there. Uh, loved the course, but it was tough. It was thirty mile an hour winds and uh, first six holes, man. You just have to just gotta grind those out. <laughs> Scroll up just a tiny bit. Uh... Watching your videos helped me find my rhythm and tempo. Shot my lowest score this season, seventy four. Awesome to hear that, Leonard. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, let's go get some new ones Huge down here. Ben, if you're ever in Vegas, love to host you at TPC Summerlin. Yeah, we love Vegas. I think we're going to be coming back. We might even go in August. Uh, we got invited to go play uh, Shadow Creek, so yep. I think we might be doing that. We'll, uh, we'll keep you updated on that. Any uh, club slash putter changes lately? Oh, I got Big Red in the bag. <laughs> I don't know. New, B, can you hand me a big red? There's going to be one this afternoon for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, B, B brought a couple putters with him on this trip, so it sounds like he's going to be pivoting. For me, it's been the same. I'm still playing that uh, the Callaway. Uh, clubs, I've been messing around with the Sim 2 Max driver. Been trying that out, so um, it's actually coming out of the bag for this next round. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> uh, but, this is big red. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is like... I don't know, maybe 36 inches, 37 inches. I got the mid slim. That's what I'm rolling. Mike, how do you like putting right right hand low? And Marco, what's what's it like being a southpaw putting righty? Uh, I'm claw now. I, I used to be left hand low for the longest time, and then I went to claw, and uh, it's been it's been great ever since. So just. That's all you got. Anymore in the uh, yeah, for me, uh, I've been putting right-handed since I was pretty young, so pretty used to it. Love it. Gave this guy the beat down on the on the putting green today, so it's working good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when is the videos of y'all's rounds going to be uploaded? Uh, probably in a couple weeks. Mm. Uh, takes a little time. We get you know we're, we're going to be here till Friday, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll start editing in next week. Usually a week or two after that. Dude Food said, uh, any other uh, collabs in the future? We don't really have anything planned, but if you guys, if there's people out there you want to see us play with, uh, let us know in the comments. Hit us up on Instagram. I think it'd be awesome to get the girls in on some of these collabs too. So um, we'd love to get them out there and doing some fun stuff. Or if you guys have ideas too for challenges and stuff like that, all yours at this point. Somebody asked uh, Pebble or Spyglass if you had to choose one. I, I guess they Pebble. Pebble. You know, Pebble yeah. is, is, you know, it, it really is a, a wonderful golf course. And uh, it's, it's tough to beat. <laughs> JC would beat or stretch it out. Or if you guys could see the behind the scenes, I mean, it's just pure comedy right now. <laughs> Any chance of going to Pinehurst in the future? No. I'm not a huge fan of Pinehurst. Like, it doesn't do it for me. I feel like a lot of the content that's been out there is just, I don't know, just not as, it's not for us. 
approach for overcoming the hosel rockets really good question really <laughs> relevant question right now because we've all experienced hosel rockets and uh you know coach and i both had some on this trip to, to you know i hate to say it but uh, for me personally the way you overcome it is just go out there and try to hit some little knockdown wedge shots just to kind of find the groove again if you're on the golf course i don't really have any advice there you just have to grind through it and try to forget about it but it's it's hard to forget about this is how you overcome the halls. Uh, <laughs> uh, have you guys played Presidio in San Francisco? No, not yet. Uh, yes, heard we it. did with Jack. I played there. Not with us, but... Yeah, it's been a while. I don't I don't really recall it. So it, <laughs> must, it must have been when I was a teenager or something, but um, yeah. I switched to claw two. <laughs> Works great for closer putts. Yeah, it's the only thing that's saving me. So... Uh, why not? Uh, why not play or visit Ireland? Uh, happy to be a friendly host. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, have you guys out at Emerald Island? Thank you for the invite. Yeah, shoot us an email. Uh, we had a, the whole trip planned before COVID. Uh, everything was all set up. We had I think eleven or twelve rounds lined up, and uh, it, it was supposed to be a really mm. special trip with Perry Golf. Um, but uh, everything's a little different right now. So unfortunately, you know, whenever things calm down, we'd love to go. Uh, Ireland is on our bucket list, so we'd, we'd love to come visit. So thank you. So people are asking for a little update on me, where have I been, life and all that. So just been working a lot, spending time with the fam. Um, Ivan's almost two years old now. Got the kids in all kinds of activities. Elon's doing basketball, soccer. We're doing swim lessons. So been really busy with that and, and work's going great. Still working for the same company up in LA for a couple of years now and working on some new products and life's good. You know, things are, things are cruising along, but I think it's just been hard to find time to get out on the golf course. So thankful for these trips and these guys and you know, the opportunity to be able to do this and jump back in on the channel with you guys, you know, it's, been it's, always, great. it's always good having him back. It, it just rejuvenates you, you know, as a, as a golfer and a friend, you know, it's just nice to, you know, to have your boy back, you know, playing again. It's good to be back. Talk a little smack, take some money off you. Yeah. Always a good time. It's never easy. <laughs> uh, someone said, Tory South or Pasa Tiempo. I got to go with Pasa. Oh, close. You know, so. Yeah. Beer or whiskey? Neither. Whiskey. <laughs> uh, yeah, agreed. Whiskey. Yeah, it's good. Coach, we need a video on how to draw the golf ball. We'll get that grip just a little stronger. <laughs> And, uh, JC, that, why don't you come in here again? <laughs> <laughs> that was hot stuff, dude. Take, take a good swing. Here, here get, show them the in person. I can't see. Yeah, Where you're good it? right there. Am I right here? Yeah. There it is. Sideways, That's... like this. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's, not it's not that bad, guys. You know? You ever uh, see the movie Over the Top with Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> Watch that. That's what you need. Uh, Any interest in Sand Valley? Yeah, Sand yeah. Valley seems like a great golf course. Uh, our boy, B Love. Uh, went out there. He said it was good, but uh, Wolf Creek was a little bit better. So uh, we'll, we still got to go do Wolf Creek. That'll be a fun vid. What did you guys think of Ram Rom winning on Sunday? I thought it was awesome. I mean, he played just super steady, found fairways when he needed to, didn't make any big numbers like some of the top guys did. And uh, he just loves that course. I mean, he's obviously won out there before at the Farmers, and uh, he's steady. Even on 18, when he hit it in the bunker, I thought, he was kind of, you know, taking the easy ride out, just kind of hitting it to the side and leaving himself a long putt. But then he went and drained the putt, and, you know, the guy earned it. He, he fought for it, and he earned that title. Yeah, Rom, Rom's the man. You know, the guy's a good player. The way he handled, you know, getting taken out of the memorial, I thought was pretty classy. I, I don't think I would have been that cool. Yeah. You know, it cost him millions of dollars and, um, you know, possibly the FedEx Cup. So I don't I don't know you know what, why they decided the way they did it, but I think he should have played by himself in the last round, but that's not the way it went down. And again, if you guys are just jumping into this live stream, um, if you want to make sure your question gets read, leave us a little donation, and uh, we'll make sure we get to the questions. Uh, otherwise, just drop them in there, and we'll see how many we can get through today. Uh, will the golf holics golf tournament be coming back next year? Maybe. Uh, you know, it, it takes a lot of work and energy, so. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens in the next uh, six to eight months, and then we'll, we'll keep you guys posted if we do. I know Paris and Claire were mentioning it, so um, if we can put it all together and, and make it a, an outing, we'll, we'll do it again. 
coach update us on your business slash life. Okay, business is back to it was fifty percent the first month back, so uh, and then seventy percent last month, and this is the third month in biz. And I'll be probably right right around sixty seventy percent. So I'm okay with that, and as long as it's just not zero, <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> Um, but yeah, coaching just got done. We had uh, both the boys and girls at the same uh, time, so season was pretty crazy. Uh, I had one kid make it to regionals, and uh, it was a good, fun season for the kids. Uh, it was more relaxed than most seasons, which was, uh, I think, good for us. Uh, Bandon Dunes, when are we coming back? Hopefully next year. I'm, I'm, I really want to go back there. I want to play Sheep Ranch, uh, and I just like the vibe out there. It's just all golf and nothing else. And, uh, it, it, it was uh, <laughs> it, it, it's it's it was one of my favorite trips other than this one la uh, the last year. So, would you guys play a match against Japan? Yeah, we would. For I sure. think I think it's just the hardest thing for us is scheduling these days. Is even making time for trips like this. It's tough. So, but yeah, I think we'd love to get out there, play some matches with you guys, and see who wins. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for a couple bucks too. Why yeah. not? Aaron Hills, yes. Uh, we had an opportunity to play out there, but uh, we were exhausted after Whistling Straits 18. Me and Mr. Short Game, we just got the beat down. And, uh, and then when we when we got invited to go out there, it was an afternoon, so it would, it would have been 36, and you have to walk that golf course too. And we were just almost dead after Whistling. So, yeah. Uh, any tournaments coming up uh, for me? No. Uh, I, I try to uh, apply for the USAM qualifier. Uh, I was a little bit late. I'm on a waiting list. So if, if I do make it in, that'll probably be the only tournament. Dan Barnett just donated 100 bucks, and he <laughs> yeah, said, yeah. I, hear, I hear you guys did a putting tournament at Bad and Dunes trip. How did that go for Coach? All right. <laughs> <laughs> just rub it you in. You know what? For the 100 bucks, I'm going to tell the truth. And uh, Dan uh, ended up beating me. I think it was in the finals. <laughs> Uh, he just careered that day. And sure uh, I, I give a little tip of the cap to, to Dan Barnett and uh, – that was, a, that was a good win under his belt, and he just won't let me live it down. So, uh, yeah. Best donation ever. Right <laughs> that was awesome, Dad. For another 100, we'll play again. <laughs> uh, uh, come play in Canada. Yeah, we got an invite to... Uh, I want to. Link. No, it wasn't Cabot Links. It was something else. Um, I'll, fi I'll figure it out. Somewhere central. <clears throat> and... Um, Someone said, planning a trip back to Arizona. Should come during the Waste Management Phoenix Open. Be fun to do a fan meetup. Fan meetup would be fun. I think that'd be a good place too out there. They There's got Top Golf too. Top Golf. We can do a meetup out there. Do a little closest twos with you guys. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, we've actually ran into a bunch of fans uh, here at Pebble, which is kind of fun too. You know, because everyone's all geeked up. You're playing Pebble Beach. The juices are flowing. So um, yeah, it's always good to see you know people who are golf nuts that that love golf the way we do. So. Uh, yeah, it's been fun. Abel said, miss you, Marco. I crack up nearly every time you're behind the mic. I use the skills with my golf buds, but they don't get the reference. You need to get, get them to subscribe. Appreciate that, Abel. <laughs> Appreciate the support, man. Those little subtle uh, comments that I make behind the camera, it's nice to know they get picked up every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you planning on changing uh, upload schedule, increasing weekly uploads with the addition of Claire and Paris? Yes. Trying to do two a week right now. Uh, I think the last two weeks we've done two a week. Or this week it will be the second week that we'll do two a week with them. And then um, we'll end up uh, trying to you know film here, upload this, get maybe one of Paris and Claire that week. So we'll, we'll try to get back to two a week consistently. If you guys don't mind, hit, hit a thumbs up on this video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. All of our videos, just if you guys ever even just have the computer on and you're not doing anything, put our videos on in the background. Just let those babies cycle on through. Appreciate the support. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, someone yeah. asked why, why uh, we're not playing Poppy. Uh, just because we're slammed with the hay, uh, Spyglass, Pebble, uh, Spanish Bay, and Del Monte. So another trip back up here, we'll, we'll do Poppy. I know, it's, it's on the list. Someone said Banff Golf Course in Canada. Yeah, that's that's, that's the, one. the one. That's the one. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ban I heard Banff is just beautiful in general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Top three courses you two have ever played? Uh, I we talked about this the other day. For me, Kapalua Plantation Course just has like a special place. I think Pebble uh, is in that list, and then uh, Medina. Yeah. I think those are my my three that I really really love. Yeah, I would say Pebble, Medina, 
and I like I really liked Riviera too. Riv Riv was up there. I don't know. I have to think about the third one a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Come uh, play Dragonfly in Madeira, Deschambeau's home course. Love to watch a ra- live round. Where Where is he from? Idaho or somewhere over there? Deschambeau's from Idaho. No, I don't he's know. from Clovis. California. Oh, yeah. yeah, California. He is. Mm-hmm. Samsonite. Samsonite. <laughs> You've had two pairs of gloves on this whole time? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, dumb and dumber references. Maybe Top Golf Roseville if you ever get to Nor- NorCal. Yeah, we love Top Golf. It's always fun. We did a meetup a couple of years ago when we were out in Arizona and we had a really yeah. good time. So. Somebody said we should do a Sandpiper Santa Barbara uh, round. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Santa Barbara is one of the best spots in the world. Uh, Sandpiper, uh, my brother and Justin played and absolutely loved it. And we'll uh, we'll definitely get out there sometime. And so if you got a hookup or an invite for us, you know, <laughs> let us know. Uh, that that definitely helps us get up there a little bit faster. And uh, <laughs> Dad Barnett. Donate another hundred bucks. Oh challenge accepted. <laughs> what a savage. Oh, uh, thanks. Love dude. you, Dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's paying these bills around here. <laughs> Keeping the lights uh, off for coach. <laughs> open. Okay. We were thinking about doing whistling possibly next year, too. So it's either Bandon, Whistling, or Myrtle Beach are our three that we are in the running with. So somebody said, uh, come down to Mexico. Uh, the courses are great, and so is the food. Yeah, Mexico's great. Uh, Cabo is one of the best spots in the world. They got some good golf courses. I know Jack Nicklaus designed some, some courses down there. But, um, yeah. Diamante. Diamante, yeah. I think there's a Diamante. couple others, too. Puerto Vallarta, they have got some good good courses. <clears throat> Any uh, chance of some sort of collab video with George Dinkus? Yeah, I mean, he's up in L.A. He's a good yeah. dude. Uh, he's crazy, you know, with the way he teaches uh, golf, and I love it. So he's got a, a unique style that is unmatched. I think that's why, like, Matthew Wolf is yeah. uh, doing so well. And, um, you know, I, I feel like he's a teacher that doesn't teach the simple, like, one or two plane swing. He lets you go with what you got, and uh, I'm always for teachers uh, for, you know, teaching that instead of trying to do it, like, a specific way like Tiger Woods or Adam Scott or, you know, some of the guys with p- pure swings. Um, whatever works for you, as long as you can move the ball down the fairway straight. Keith said uh, we should get a big group for the next Ryder Cup. Love that idea. Yeah. Go out there and show our support. We have also a Facebook group page for Golf Holic. So if you guys follow us on there or just jump on our Facebook page, you'll see the, the group link. There's a, a ton of interaction, other, you know, just golf nuts on there, um, constantly posting stuff. And uh, it's a really, really fun group to be a part of if you just want to share memories, share some of your photos, some of your highs and lows of golf. Um, awesome interactive community on there, so check it out. Can you guys sign merch that's ordered on your web store? Uh, a little tough now. Cause yeah, because it's outsourced. Um, if you send it in, we'll obviously sign it, but we, we don't have access to the, to the merch anymore, so and unfortunately. Shameless, shameless plug for Dan Barnett. If you guys need a fulfillment company, check out, <laughs> check out Promofill. Best in the biz <laughs> right here in California. Thank you for that one, Dan. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, free advertising. See what happens when you donate $200? Yeah. Oh, man. Good you four guys would crush a four-man scramble tournament? Yeah, we're usually yeah. Uh, a, you know top three in a, in a, in a <laughs> scramble format. Um, favorite course in Cali besides the ones at Pebble? Uh, Olympic. Yeah. Olympic yeah, is a good dude. one. Well, yeah. Pasa. And Pasa. Pasa. Yeah. yeah. Both good. Uh, collab with Good Good? Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, Garrett's a good good kid. Yeah, we love Garrett. And uh, he's got a good game. But they're they're doing big things over there. Uh, so it's, it's fun to watch. And, uh, yeah, anytime he's in town, we'll, we'll get around him. Uh, this open will be the last at Tory, sadly. Yeah, I heard the same thing, which is unfortunate, but you know, it's uh, you know, it's tough. You know, that course is such a great course. It's good for hosting. It can have a lot of uh, have a lot of people. So, um, yeah, that is a bummer. The fans make your videos relevant. Why not do rounds with them? I've offered to meet up with you guys. Um, I mean, just reach out. It's hard. It's hard coordinating. So, I mean, 
you guys can always reach out to us and we'll we'll try to do our best to set up rounds with with everyone and we also added a thing to our store uh, where people can actually set up a round with Mike and I or with Paris Sinclair and yeah there's a fee associated with it but it's also a way to guarantee a round with us and also we're going to film it and put it on YouTube so you'll have that memory forever which I think is pretty special um, so you guys can check that out at golfholic.com. But if your username is Dingleberry, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know if that's possible. So I, you know, <laughs> and there's the truth, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, have you guys thought about playing Coronado? Uh, yeah, Coronado is a great little track uh, for CIF. We, uh, you know, we've gone down there quite a bit with the kids. So it's, you know, it's fun and it's right on the water. It's pretty. We just haven't, you know, done it yet. Someone said, uh, am I coming back to the channel full time? I'm not. It's just going to be kind of uh, just for these special trips, really. When we go somewhere, I'll be able to jump in. But he mentioned earlier that we're going to be in Maui. We're going to be filming yeah. a bunch out there. So I think we got about six or seven courses that we're going to be playing. So uh, Plantation, Bay Course, um, Grand Wailea, and then I think there's some Kanapali courses as well. Worst score you guys have ever gotten on a hole? I think a nine. Yeah, I'm probably, probably picked up after that. So, yeah, probably <laughs> nine recorded. <laughs> uh, Favorite TPC course? Oof. Scottsdale's not that great. No. What's that one that we played up in North North uh, California? Oh, Bray. Um, Bray. Uh, Stone, Stone, Stone Bray. Stone Bray. That Stone one was Bray. pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one. I'll go with that. Yeah. Do you love PGA West? That's, yeah, that's not TPC. Uh, so they, they said no golf with Beesky and JC experience. You don't want that. Nobody wants that. <laughs> wow. Uh, have you guys ever played a got shootout? Kind of expectations. Uh, I signed up for my first one. Not sure what to expect. No, I've never done a shootout before. Uh, play courses. Uh, nope, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Um, any thoughts on the international YouTube channel slash players golf sidekick Rick Shields I mean yeah those guys are all great um, I personally I don't spend a lot of time watching YouTube videos in general so it's hard to really keep up with what these guys are doing but uh, it's awesome that there's representation you know across the pond in Europe and stuff like that it'd be, we've talked about this over the years but it'd be awesome to put a tournament together where we get all these YouTubers get some sponsors in there get some fans out there and really have a, a huge event where we can all come together because that's what golf's all about. It's having fun with friends, and I think uh, we've met a bunch of those guys, and they're all great. It's fun to play golf with them. So, and I think Golf Sidekick is in, in uh, the U.S. right now. I shot him a message on Instagram. So, if he comes out to the West Coast, we'll we'll line something up with him. Marco, pictures of the baby. Uh, check out my personal Instagram, <laughs> Marco M Nick like twenty five. You'll see you'll see the big boy on there. Kid's eating good. Let me tell you that. He's eating good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody said collab with uh, Manolo. Yeah, that guy's great. We yeah. love him. Uh, he's he's hilarious. He's great for the game. He's a superstar. So yeah, anytime that guy wants to play, we'll we'll definitely get out with him. Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail in Alabama, yes. plus Shaw Creek in Birmingham. That's a trip we've been wanting to do for a while now. We we're actually thinking about mobbing down there, <laughs> renting an RV, and and just cruising it. Um, Coach has got the license, that's right. I can drive anything. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said um, Kiwa Island is a great trip. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's on our list too. So you guys know all the good golf trips. Looks like uh, we're starting to exceed our bandwidth here at Pebble Beach in terms of the, <laughs> the internet. <laughs> it's getting a little choppy. Uh you guys playing Pebble this afternoon yes. after the live stream? Yeah, we're playing at three o'clock this afternoon, so looks looks nice out there right now. But no, so, windy. Yeah. No, it's oh, is it? It's, it's, it's nice, hour. but it's windy. It's firm but fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, arm lock Woo. putter. Uh, anything? Anyone's? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. You know, I I haven't I haven't uh, practiced with it or bought it yet, so 